Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld. Armella is up and recovering. I'm gonna try and use one of these mech um, theorems on her to clear her brain scar. She did get Trauma Savant, and if it were anyone else... Oh, wow, wait. What? She keeps Trauma Savant? That is... That's, that's wild. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, recovering from an infection. Cleared up her brain scar. And she has Trauma Savant now, which just, like, increases her manipulation by 50%. She has the robotic rig assistant, which also does the same. Um, so that is a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, we did end up having, like, a marriage ceremony recently. Um, who was it? Let's take a look at her history. Happened off screen. Um, ch -ch -ch. Oh, it's arrived. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how far back it was. Um, but we do have another couple. So I was like, okay, I guess we'll make an official chapel. We're currently just like uh, hunting anything that's on the map right now. Um, how's the coyote doing? Oh, oh, we, we took it down with a minigun and a Wookiee. Uh, so that's, that's fine. Uh, one thing, I don't think I actually showed that we finished comp the fusion reactor. So like Bell worked on that all day yesterday. This thing creates 40,000 watts of power output. So as long as we can keep refueling it with Tibana, of course it needs a geothermal geyser. I, like, that is our power problem solved. Um, so what that makes me think of is we might not need batteries. Um, well, actually, hold on, miscellaneous. Where is the EMI shield? Did we research that yet? She, oh my god. Um, solar EMI. What is, what is the thing actually called? Um, research, that's what I'm looking for. EMI shielding. We have researched it. Magnetic shield. Actually, we'll probably keep our batteries around for this. We can build this guy. It'll protect us from like solar flares and all that stuff. It eats up a ton of power and it creates a lot of heat. So we want to stick it outside. Uh, base plans wise. I guess we can just stick it here for now. It's not too big of a deal. And then while we're looking at the plans, I actually did just want to kind of like uniform this up with the other side. Uh, I think it's 22. Yeah, perfect. And then... Okay, that's good for now. Um, uh, big construction projects. I guess we're, like, flooring the chapel. We are digging the hospital out, placing the furniture. And there's more space in this hospital than our previous one, so we're actually going to have more hospital beds. Uh, and then we will we'll work on this. What I want to do is I actually want... I know he doesn't need to do this. Where are you, Belle? You're over here, is I want to get this wall finished, and then we'll just, like, get the heaters going, unforbid the plans, uh, and we can mine that out. And then our next big mining project is mining out one of the rooms over here so we can start moving our, all, our, all our production facilities inside, get this cleared out. Excuse me, my throat is still very, like, cruddy from being a little sick. Um... Yeah, and we'll unroof all that. Uh, I think at some point, I don't know when, we will use this fusion reactor. We'll set up another base somewhere, and we will use our faction control to, like, unload that base. I don't know if that will actually, like, protect it from... Well, I guess it will, because we did that. We dumped all the resources here. We unloaded it, and this map didn't get glassed. So I think we set up, like start setting up maybe with this rebel crew just like another outpost just in just in case another like retreat point i think we've like learned our lesson on uh being a little bit more prepared in ca case this like imperial remnant um gets wind of us the last thing that i wanted to talk about before i kind of figure out what we're doing today is we have a quest proposition from the galactic empire and i i I kept calling them the Imperial Remnant. I was just like, okay, I just need to change their faction name. So I did. 
Um, but it, it broke some of the texts in this quest. But anyhow, they uh, the news has spread like wildfire across the command staff of the Imperial Remnant, fueling the flames of dissent and re or yeah, dissent and rebellion. Defectors, once seen as insignificant, have been seizing victories on various fronts, rattling the gilded cage of the Imperial Command. In the shadowy halls of the Imperial bases, whispers stir the air, whispers of desperate bargains offered to the surging rebel forces. Intriguingly, one such proposition has found its way to you. Envoys from the Imperial Command staff has dif have dispatched an encrypted missive to... I guess like a map location, in carefully coded languages, they detail the bounty they're prepared to lavish upon you should you choose to abandon your rebel colors. So they are trying to turn us. They glassed our base. They're seeing that we're still getting victories against them. You know, we've completed a few more plots. We've taken out um, a few more quests. Um, if you accept, you'll no longer be aligned with the rebels. You'll lose access to the rebel network, and you will never be able to rejoin their ranks again. Your visibility will be lowered to zero, and you'll become a member of the Imperial Remnant. You'll be able to use all the perks that come from being a commander. Any currently active rebel-related quests will automatically fail. You'll also have to face off against a rebel retaliation force consisting of whatever rebels. Um, gets us 21 honor, 28 silver. What a measly offer they have thrown at us, especially as, like, we are on the verge of victory. Like, we are, we're halfway there, but they glassed our base and look, look at where we're at already. So, um, I think today what we're going to do is we'll let our pawns rest up since it is midnight for them. But we'll have Rad kind of do a couple more quests for the Holocron. So we're at Whispers. Plots. Yeah, we are literally halfway there. Um, we have the space info hack. So we'll do that one first. And then uh, we'll pick up the site right now and take a look at where it's at. It's not too far away. We'll just like take a shuttle over there. Um, and those, those are quests like two and three, right? Yeah, so we just have a couple more to go uh, before he gets the secure holocron. Um, he is, his mission, like, we're ahead of the game for him. Uh, he took out that Sith Empire posting. Um, we're working on the holocron. I'm not sure how much longer he'll stick around, right? He's still, he's kind of like seeing what he can learn about the Force. And then he is off to go fight the Neo-Sith Empire. This Imperial Remnant stuff doesn't, really concern him right so yeah anyhow we'll let them hit the hay and we'll be back okay we have psychic drone medium on males right now so maybe we will let that die down a little bit uh, before we ask rad to spend an entire day in front of a space drone waiting for raids to show up um okay looks like we're carrying this guy he needed recharging so we built another recharging station um our chargers right now we're not emptying them because we don't have a stockpile that'll accept waste packs so uh kind of beelining for rebuilding our atomizer so we can start taking care of that stuff again too hello well we're having a solar flare we have not built our magnetic shield so we're currently without power um we'll be prepared for next time okay we've got our magnetic shield up and let's go ahead and accept this quest for the hack. Let's see where this ends up. Okay. Rad, let's have you head over here. Let's actually force speed. And let's do your speed boost as well. Ooh. Snow? Is the snow slowing you down? I guess it is. Um, we'll have you hack the space drone. It's in the middle of the map, um, so I think we're we're pretty good to go. I think Rad can also just take care of anything that's out there. Um, starting to build our hydroponics, so um, we will probably not replant out here. We're just going to set those to not allow sowing, but to allow harvest. We'll pick up that heal root when it's done, and... Actually, we can do this. We can just delete all these zones. They don't matter. Um, 
I think this will be good enough for us, right? How many are we building? We're building nine, like 21 hydroponics. So that's basically a little bit more than one each. Um, it might not be enough. We do have this area. I'm not sure if we'll do the advanced hydroponics in this area. Um, we could grow Nutrifungus and just like regular hydroponics. What is our power train looking like? Um, we are great XX 30,000. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to worry about it. When If we get more Plasteel, we'll make more of these guys. Uh, Rad, how are you doing down here? Oh, map, map rendering. Um, hacking space drone. Hacking speed 130%. Okay. Uh, I think we'll end up with at least one raid, probably. Okay. Tiny raid. Eight-person raid. Rad is almost done. Will they make it to us? Uh, let's speed things up and see. Yeah, they they might just make it to us. Uh, ooh, Imperial Remnant. They're going to prepare for a little while, though, so... So that's fine. Let's get our droids inside. And then we'll tell our colonists to go inside as well. Except, Red, you, you're free to do what you want. Oh, uh, if what you want is finishing the space drone hack. Okay. Looks like they are making it to us. So let's do a little force rage on this guy. Let's force lightning this person. Okay. Let's force choke you. And force rage the guy with the gun. And Rad will just like set you loose. They are fleeing. Go ahead and finish the drone. That way we can get you back to base before this guy, these guys show up. Actually, let's, um, Aaron, Aaron got the crap beat out of him by Asha. Um, let's send, let's send you guys out. Armella's missing her weapon. Oh, we must have left it when she was downed. Uh, let's get you guys down here just in case they, like, beeline towards Rad. And we'll do a marksmanship command. Let's just, like, move in. Okay. We're not in a position where we have cover, so we're just, like, relying on our shield belts. Asha does not have a shield belt. finish the hack fought off the imperials we will unforbid the things we'll let folks be unrestricted again um you guys can be restricted to home i guess and unrestricted for you two quest complete we will unforbid these things okay cool we'll let them rest up we'll let rad's mood go up a bit because he's been outside not eating all day um and then we'll probably send rad and lissandra off for the next one okay we've arrived on site at the ancient complex uh just waiting for our ship to get here let's go ahead and i guess land as close as we can and we'll just start like breaking in can we claim the door? We can't. Okay. So, why don't you uh, melee attack this? And why don't you attack that? Okay. Let's do the same. Crypto sleep pod. Go ahead and open it. Set you to search and destroy so you can just like open that and there we are okay why don't you hack this first terminal and then you can break through some more of these doors oh 
insects. Okay, stand right here and just like stand guard. Uh, you can shoot the door from there, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Area revealed. There's some insects in there. We'll have you pop into there. Lysandra, why don't you just go ahead and take out the rest of these doors? Uh, oh, you're not attacking them because they're asleep. Controlled frenzy. Cool. And are there any other crates? There's one up there. Insects have woken up. Okay. So what? This guy's now hostile. I'm not too worried about that. Luciferium, some gold. Okay. Why don't you pick up all this? And pick up all that. And you can pick up all that. And this. Is it just two terminals? Yeah, nice and small one. Okay, I'm not gonna complain about that. Brad, go ahead and open this guy. And then we will set you guys to load and just get out of here before their Imperial Remnant gets to us open. Pick up all that. Oh. Insects after our ship. Okay. And where are these guys at? Just a few of them. Not even going to get to us. Okay, cross map. Let's head home. Okay, so we have, I think this is our fourth quest for the last holocron. I'm not going to do it today. We're kind of like running short on time. I've been letting the game run for a few days in game just so we can kind of like get ahead on base building and um, to see if anything interesting would pop up. We're really late on Intel right now, so we can't actually buy our next plot. So we're going to need a quest to pop up for us um, tomorrow. We'll probably check out the hollow table. Uh, to see how that's going and just like base wise uh we've got everything moved into here uh we don't have the steel to build an orbital trade beacon we've also got the um asha's little like forge area built up uh still a few things that we want to get going like the tibana bottler and we're going to move the siphon over here as well um we'll have to work on the pipe network and then also just kind of like decide where we really want some of these things uh, we are going to mine out all this space and clear the mountain roof. Um, so I think on one side, we'll probably have like um, some landing spots for ships, visitors, uh, which are probably unnecessary, but like aesthetically, we'll make them part of the base uh, and we'll do some decoration like that. And then we'll keep this side probably like pretty clear. Uh, just because I have such difficulty landing this guy in base, we've been landing out here. So if we have like a big open space, then we can land this guy. We'll have space for a big shield generator, um, which we'll need Durasteel for. How much Durasteel do we currently have? We have 2,000. I think the really big shield generator, Hypertech, security, 2,400. Okay, cool. Um... It's raining, so I think that fire is going to be fine. So I'll unpause things. Folks are awake. Anyone responding to the fire? Yeah, a few people. And we have been scanning. I want to get another scanner up. Uh, everything is so far away from base. We have Durasteel down here, so that should, like, worse comes to worse. If that's the Durasteel we need to mine, then um, we can mine that. Uh, what is this? That's Plasteel. And then it looks like we have some Durasteel right there, so we could mine a little corridor over there to get that Durasteel as well. But um, I think in between right now and tomorrow's episode, I'm just going to continue base building. We'll collect quests, hopefully. Um, and when we come back tomorrow, we will, we will go on some adventures. But as always, thanks for hanging out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.